I like that sign. We should take a picture of that sign. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. It's cheaper here too. All right, Bolo Buddies, we are back with another Goodwill Bins video, but this one is different. I am at a new location and I'm with my friend Aaron and I don't know how I feel about it. We're gonna kind of talk about the pros and cons of this location as we go as soon as i walked in the door they had this little section that was priced differently and i know i've seen these sections at other people's goodwill bins but the one i typically go to we don't have this section it's just all goodwill bins so i feel like they kind of cherry pick some things and put them over on the side and price them individually i don't know how i feel about that i would rather everything just be a treasure hunt uh the photos i guess i understand that so I was kind of watching this back as I was popping up my screen shares last night, and I was like, I feel like I missed some stuff. So down in the comments, if you see something that you would have grabbed, go ahead and timestamp it. That means put the time you saw it so that everybody that's watching can go down there and click on that and come back to the video and look at what I potentially missed because... Some things that I source, you might not source. And some things that I miss, you may source. So it's a great way to learn. And I love doing that in my videos. And I thank you for all of you that participate. I did pick up that LOL doll. I do pretty good with those types of dolls over on Mercari. I think they're a little bit flooded on eBay. But uh, Mercari, I usually do well, especially like with the Monster High and the Bratz dolls. That little plush stuffed animal, I'm not sure what that was, but I can't remember why I put it back. I don't know if it was dirty or what. I just picked up a um, bandana. If you ever see the ones with the elephant with the trunk up, definitely give those a look over. A lot of times they're a bread and butter. If you can find them new old stock, they can go for big money. So anything that's new old stock, that's vintage, harder to find in the original packaging, Definitely, definitely pick it up. Even uh, newer stuff, if it's new in the package, I will pick it up if it has some value. If it's just like a junky dollar store thing, I'm going to leave that behind if it's new in the package. But a lot of times you're going to find things that people just decided that they didn't want that they donate that has value. Um, I am a long tail reseller. I've talked about that before. Um, I basically list it and forget it. I did pick up this jock strap because I thought it was just, I don't know if it's a strap, it's like a cup or something. And I thought it was brand new and complete, but I got home and the underwear were missing. So I went ahead and just donated that. I thought it was brand new. This baby float, I'm thinking I should have grabbed that. I put it in my cart. I must have comped it. I don't remember, but I put it back. So you're gonna see me grab a lot of things that I put in my cart and I either look them up or just decide not to get them based on weight or for whatever reason. This Goodwill Benz is cheaper. I believe it's $1.49 a pound. So that is definitely a pro compared to the one that I normally go to. It is $1.89 a pound. But as you're going to see, it is a, well, you might not be able to tell. It's a much smaller location. And the way the bins are set up, you can't take your cart in between and if your cart's on the end, it's so far away because the length of the aisles are so long. Um, like I have my cart in between right now, but if they bring out new bins, you can't because everybody has their carts in there and then you get stuck. So I guess I shouldn't say you can't, but it's very inconvenient. I tried it and I was like literally stuck between like three or four carts. Okay, I should have grabbed all of these, I think. Did I make a mistake? I feel like I may have made a mistake here. There were a whole bunch of these wigs. I mean, they were just everywhere. And this is early on. Um, I want to say I pick up four or five in the next few minutes here. And I put them all back down. Let me know in the comments, do you think I should have grabbed the wigs? I will pick them up if they were new old stock in the original packaging or um, have the packaging. But being loose like that, 
I just didn't feel like I should. But now I'm thinking I should have looked up the brands and you're gonna see why. Okay, I always say, always look in every bag. This was like cards, greeting cards, but there could have been something good in there if there was vintage cards or, you know, things that are discontinued, stationary, stuff like that. So always a good idea to take a peek, but look at all the wigs. I'm passing by all of these wigs. Look at them. Uh, kicking myself right now. Would you have grabbed the wigs? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, a lot of times they are long tail, but some of them can go for big money. And we will talk about that more later. This is a little, I don't know if that was VTech or if it was Fisher Price. Today, I just wasn't really in the mood to pick up a bunch of smalls. I did grab this little Elmo because I do pick those up and I'll lot them. So I just kind of put them to the side until I have more. Why on earth I grabbed this? I have no idea, but I did. It's a little airplane bottle opener. It's just a bread and butter for my store. You know, sometimes bread and butter bring people in and they look at other items. And it had the original tag on it. And it's just a cute little item. There's my friend Erin who uh, decided to join me at the Goodwill Bins again. She loves it. She is not a reseller. Um, she actually has a full-time job and just comes with me here and there to uh, shop for herself. So there was one video I did where she actually shopped for me, which was kind of fun. It was kind of a little challenge, but um, this time she did not shop for me. So she did hand me a few things. She has a good eye. She would be good at it if she wanted to do it. All right, we are going to keep digging here. Again, timestamp down below anything that you would have grabbed. Should I have grabbed the fly swatters? <laughs> Is that what they're called, fly swatters? I think it's fly swatter, but I say it fly swatter. <laughs> Just one of the other things that I pronounce kind of funny. All right, these old rollers. I'm guessing some of you may have picked these up. Uh, condition wasn't great. They were kind of a hot mess. I will pick up rollers and curlers and stuff like that, especially if I can find Goody brand. Those can go for a lot of money. Uh, I didn't find too much today. Uh, I think I was being a little bit picky, but I did um, find some good stuff. Now, I will pick up VHS and DVDs that are sealed. I did end up putting that one back. Again, it was one of those days where... You know, you go, but you're not like super in the mood to grab everything that you see. I did grab this here. It's a banana yana or something like that. I just thought it looked kind of different. And I looked it up and comps were pretty good on it. Um, I did show the photo split in two. If you go back and look at it, it's a double photo. That's because I uh, the banana peel actually uh, hooks to the top with Velcro, which... You are not allowed to use the word Velcro on eBay. It will get you a violation. You have to use hook and loop. But I wanted to show the banana closed and the banana open. So I split screen it just like that. So I did that in my photo to make my listing stand out and to show people how it works. All right, we are going to keep digging here. Um, on that cat, I did use Google Lens to figure out what it was. And I was also able to actually, wait, did I use Google Lens? I think I was trying to get like a, a name for it, but I did put the um, actual info on the tag in and I found it. And there are different variations. So depending on which cat is sitting in the banana, the price uh, varies a little bit. So definitely keep that in mind. If you see one of those, definitely look up comps. I feel like I remember using Google Lens, but I don't know why I did. <laughs> Maybe to see if it would pull up on another website. If you guys use Google Lens, it'll sometimes pull things up on Poshmark and eBay and Mercari and different platforms. Etsy's a good one. And it'll show you what people are pricing it for on other platforms. But I definitely don't recommend just using uh, Google Lens for that. I use it more to identify things. And then I go and search sold comps. I think sold comps are the best way to search things. Now, I also use Terapeak. And I, on harder to find items that I just can't find on eBay, WorthPoint, oh my goodness, is incredible. It is pricey. You do have to pay for a subscription. But if you're dealing with vintage and harder to find items, I mean, it has made me so much more money. 
I'll look on eBay and I can't find any comps. I'll go to Worth Point and I'm going to know how to price my item because of it. There's been many occasions where I would have listed the item a lot lower had I not used Worth Point. So I have some videos on Worth Point if you guys want to check them out. Um, definitely worth it in my opinion based on the items that I sell. Now, is Worth Point for everyone? No. Like I said, it's kind of expensive, but uh, it will make you money if you use it right because a lot of times people underprice their things because they can't find a sold comp and they just price it and they price it wrong and they end up losing money. And then the people coming in and sniping it are the resellers who are buying it to resell. So uh, that is gonna make it look like the item is worth less on eBay because sold comps are gonna be lower. But you're gonna go over to WorthPoint and you're gonna see the item is actually worth $200 and the sold comp on eBay is 25 because the person just didn't know. So definitely uh, check out my video on um, WorthPoint. Let me pop it up right here for you. So in this video, I actually show you proof of how WorthPoint has made me more money. I'm one of those people where I like to see how, how is this going to help my business? Is it really worth it? Is it something I can use? Do I want to spend my hard-earned money on this item for my business? And I will tell you that it's, it's worth it for me. There is a link down in the description if you guys want to check it out. Um, that little minifigure I picked up, I think it's from a blind bag. It did say Netflix on the bottom, but I didn't want to put that in my title because I have heard in um, some of my Vero videos that I do, basically in my Facebook group, I invite people to tell us items that have been removed from eBay for policy violation or Vero, and I make videos about it. And I remember somebody saying something about Netflix. So I just left Netflix out of the title. I used Google Lens. I could not find the exact same item. So I went ahead and I just priced that high on auction at $24.99. Do I think I'm going to get that? No, probably not. But you never know. Some of those little mini figures that are from blind bags, if they're rare and hard to find, some of them can go for quite a bit of money. So I figured I would take a chance, feel out the market. If it is indeed a rare item, because I can't find one, so I'm assuming it is, then it might sell for that. If it does not sell on auction, I will then put my item on a buy it now with a best offer. That is what I do with harder to find items. I could not identify the item with a name. If I would have been able to do that, I could have checked worth point. I could have done more research, but I couldn't even figure out who the guy was. It was like a monster bug. All right, this little Looney Tunes uh, button up shirt, would you guys have picked that up? It had Tweety Bird on the front. All right, look at this. Do you see how many buggies, we'll call them buggies or carts, are in a row? There's like six. That is a long aisle with no division in between. So you can't like turn your cart and like go into another aisle. You're literally stuck. If you take your cart in there and it's bumper to bumper with carts, you're not getting out. <laughs> so when they bring out a new cart, that's when it becomes a problem. If you're looking through the old carts or the old buggies, or bins, we'll call them bins, what they are. It's not a big deal. Like you can take your cart down the aisle with no problem, but oh my goodness, did I get squished in the middle and I was stuck and I didn't know what to do. That was a Mary Meyer sheep. I usually pick up Mary Meyer plush. I did uh, set search comps on that. It didn't comp out very high and I left it behind, but a lot of times, even if they don't comp out high, if it's a decent brand, I will still pick it up and price it competitively. Again, I'm a long tail reseller. I will wait for the right buyer to come along. I do also cross post. So I start on eBay and then I put my items on Mercari and Poshmark. So if it's flooded on eBay, there may be a potential buyer over on one of those other platforms where it's not as saturated. I use List Perfectly to cross post. Um, I've been using it since 2009. I start my items on eBay and then I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark. If you want to check out how List Perfectly works, there is a link down in the description of the video. It's a how-to. I really like how-to videos because I'm a visual person. I want to see how something works before I invest in it, just like with the worth point. I'm going to show you guys how I use it. I want you to know it's worth it <laughs> for your business. 
Um, if you decide you want to try uh, List Perfectly, there's a referral code, and it is Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that's going to get you 30% off your first month. Feel free to drop any questions you may have down in the comments. All right, stickers. Do I pick up stickers? Yes, all the time. I love picking up stickers at the bins. These, however, were not the stickers I was looking for. You will find sealed stickers all the time, and they weigh absolutely nothing. And people who scrapbook and collectors, if you can find vintage ones, they will buy those. These cookie cutters, probably not my best buy in the whole world. Um, I did pick them up. I did list them. Uh, they're okay, but I think they're going to be, I think they're going to take a long time to sell. They may do better over on Poshmark and Mercari. They are pretty flooded on eBay right now. So um, probably not the greatest choice, but they were lightweight and, you know, it's okay. Sometimes we do that. We pick up things that we just probably shouldn't. <laughs> I don't know what this thing was. Uh, a lot of things I picked up and I just put them back down. I didn't look them up. I didn't research them. So if you guys have feedback, feel free to put it down in the comments. So the grand total I spent today, I believe it was like around $7. Um, I had a intro or a ending to this. I can't remember which, but I accidentally deleted both. And I told the exact amount that I spent but because I deleted it, I don't want to go search for that receipt. I think it was around $7. Again, $1.49 a pound. I did not buy very much stuff, but I did buy one item that is a complete home run. So we're going to get to that here shortly. Definitely a bolo item that uh, you're going to want to pick up if you see it. And we will uh, talk about that more when I get to it here. Little backpack. Do you guys pick up backpacks? Should I have picked that up? It looked like um, more of a smaller backpack, more for like a toddler. All right. I guess, you know, even if they're not in school, they could maybe use it for vacation or something like that or just to play with. I don't know. Let me know if those mini backpacks sell for you guys because that one was pretty cute. Most of the items in my cart came out. All right. Here's my friend Erin. She didn't buy much at this store either. We were not real impressed. We did end up going to Subway, so that was fun. And we went to the other Goodwill bins before this one, and it was during a time when they were short on employees, so they weren't really rotating the carts or the bins, and that's why we decided to try out this one. So um, I don't know what's in here. Did I open it? It looks like a little puppet thing. I don't know why. If that was puppets, I don't know why I wouldn't have grabbed it. So I'm guessing it wasn't. I threw it back, so it must not have been good. Maybe it was stuffed with something else. Uh, a lot of the plush here was kind of dirty. It just wasn't, uh, I don't know. This here was a directory. And if you can find the really, really old vintage directories or phone books, those can sell for big money. Noelle Farm Girl Scavenger, definitely check out her channel. She is really good at picking up um, hard to find weird vintage items that you may leave behind. So her channel is just jam packed with a lot of knowledge and experience. So I think you guys will really enjoy it. All right. Baby toys. I don't pick up a lot of baby toys. I like picking up toys, but more, um, small toys that are easier to ship. And here is a, I don't know. I think maybe I should have got that one just because it had some writing on it but there was probably a reason that I threw it back. So if I missed a bolo, you guys can let me know in the comments. There was some plush here, but again, a lot of it was just, it didn't seem clean, you know? It had dirt and a lot of, you know, I didn't want to take the time to clean it. So it was kind of a lazy day for me. I left a lot behind, I think. He's kind of cute. Maybe I should have grabbed him. I think he was an Aurora. Just a little guy. I have no idea if that's a wig or what that was. Here's another little cutie. Lots of little cute plush. Should I have got the kangaroo? Ah! Oh my goodness. So this here is an old, old game. And I do not think it was complete. I thought about grabbing it just to part it out because a lot of these items are... Um, they get lost and then people will look for replacements. I think that was a Longenberger thing. I probably could have picked that up and sold it. Longenberger is hit and miss for sure. 
Um, I do pretty well with some of the pottery. There is some pottery that goes for a lot of money. Um, but the baskets, I usually leave those behind. They're kind of annoying to ship. Uh, I have picked up some of the collector's ones like the Halloween and the different ones like that. But for the most part, I leave Longenberger behind simply because I don't want to ship it. So definitely look it up if you see it because some of it can do okay. Longenberger is in my area, so I see it a lot. And a lot of it is just major bread and butter and very inconvenient. All right, we are going to keep on looking here. And another thing with Longenberger, Longenberger locally, uh, the people price it really high. I think that might have been a briar, but I think it was damaged. I think the ears were chipped, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I actually went to this bins. I have a problem with going to the bins, and then I let the bags sit <laughs> until I have time to list everything because I like to pop the screen shares up for you guys and keep it educational. So the other day, I was like, I haven't put out a bins video, and I know I didn't buy much, so... This right here actually sold in less than 24 hours. Um, I did price it competitively, but it sold for $6.50 in the buyer paid shipping. It's just a little lightweight coin purse. It was missing the little keychain hook. Um, so I priced it lower than the uh, sold comps and it sold within 24 hours. I was like totally shocked. This right here, I think maybe I should have grabbed this. It was a linen. I think it was a tablecloth, but it had that beautiful embroidery on it. But again, I was being lazy. Oh my gosh, you guys are probably like, what is she doing? Um, what is she doing? She's missing it all. And I should have grabbed that little owl t-shirt. What was I thinking? There's so many things that I uh, passed up on. It would have been a nice little comfy shirt. I don't think it was vintage though. I did buy um, an owl shirt like that from Christopher, um, Amazing Steals and Deals. And it was like how many licks to the center of the Tootsie Pop and it had an owl on it. I did go ahead and grab that from his eBay store, but his was vintage. That little jacket was so cool, but it said Tyler. And I was like, man, this will be really hard to sell because I'm gonna have to find somebody named Tyler that wants this item and that would probably be difficult. But Tyler is kind of a popular name. Let me know if you guys would have grabbed that um, jacket or not. And I am amazing steals and deals. I will link him down in the description of the video, his eBay store. Um, he has an amazing eye. He is a major bolo finder and a super support to the community. Definitely check out his eBay store if you want to learn. And you might find something you want to buy. All right, we are going to keep looking here. Um, this little guy was kind of cool. I almost picked him up. I think I searched comps on him, but I did throw him back. All right. We should be coming up on my big money bolo that made this whole trip worth it uh, here shortly. Look, see how many people there were. I cut out some of the footage because it was just jam-packed. This is a Disney store doll. I can't remember why I didn't get her. I put her in my cart and I took her back out for some reason. She may have been dirty. Don't know, but I did decide to leave her behind. But Disney store is a great brand um, to pick up. I know there's a lot of talk about Disney store right now or Disney parks specifically. Um, there's videos out on it. You guys can go check those out. I'm still trying to get the entire scoop if it's just handmade things or if it's Disney parks in general. If anybody knows, please put it in the comments. Um, if you know for sure, um, not just speculation, I do need to do some research on that. I feel like um, if it becomes like a major rule or something like that, that hopefully eBay will let us know. But right now, I think um, it had something to do with an Etsy seller. All right. We are going to keep on moving here. Um, I know Rockstar Flipper put a video out about it, and so did Commonwealth Picker. I don't know if it's on his Picker channel or Flipper channel. I started to, um, I started to watch it, and I got sidetracked, so I didn't get to finish it to get all the details. So you can check out both of those channels for um, more information, and they both do a lot of updates on uh, current things going on in the reseller community along with other reseller content. 
All right, that was an old game. I almost picked that up. If I remember correctly, the battery pack uh, cover was missing and or it was damaged. There was something wrong with it. I can't remember, but I did end up putting it back. Comps were okay if they were in good condition, but based on the condition, I decided not to get it. All right. This was a plush and it was in a bag and I have sold those before. I actually sold a yellow bunny. I don't know why I didn't grab it. It was animated. I think maybe I clicked it on and it didn't work. This right here was a little baggie of plastic nativity items. I definitely grab anything nativity, especially something like that, that is lightweight. I got four listings out of that and literally just posted all of these items right um, right before I did the video. So only one item is sold and that's only because it sold within 24 hours. So these items have not been listed long in my eBay store. So what you're seeing are the screenshots of my current listings, not sold. The only one sold is the One Direction uh, little change purse, which I think is crazy that it sold so fast. That is so incredible. I love it. Um, even when it's a bread and butter, if I can sell something that quickly, I'm like, that's awesome. I thought it was an item that I was going to sit on for a while. So pretty cool. You can find some incredible items in the Goodwill bins. I just did a video of an item that somebody found at the Goodwill bins and they sold it for over $800. You can go and uh, check out that video. Absolutely amazing. All right, are you guys like yelling at the screen? Grab that. Well, I did grab this and I am glad I did because these sell for like $300 on the website. That is why I'm kicking myself on the other wigs because sometimes when you find something and there's others, those others were donated by the same person. The other ones were not brand new old stock in the box like this one. But I'm wondering, were they a good brand? Were they something that I should have picked up and sold as pre-owned? So that's why I think that I probably should have picked up every single wig that was there because that one you just saw has the original tags in the original box, looks to have never been worn, and I've got that baby priced at $217 or best offer. I can't find the same style and color on eBay, so I'm the only one on eBay, so I'm just looking for the right person that wants that wig, that style, that color. Now, I did pick these up because they are super cute. They're like little lunch bag books, um, lunch bag, toolbox, but they're you'll hold them like a bag. There's a little handle, and I have watched Got Junk in Our Trunk, and she has talked about buying golden books, little golden books. And she said, even if they're not in great condition, people will buy them for junk journaling. So that was just like an amazing like, aha moment for me. So I decided to pick those up and put junk journal in my title. So will that help me sell it? Yeah, it might help me sell it. So here's a little golden book like she sells. I didn't pick those up. Um, she lists those individually and she sells them all the time. Go check out that video that I popped up because you're going to see what she sells them for and how she sells them. So I did grab these. I lauded them up. We'll see. I've got them on auction right now. If they don't sell on auction, I will put them at a buy it now or best offer. I just thought they were super cute and I have never seen anything like it. And anytime I find something that is unique or different that I haven't seen before, I'll pick those items up and they can ship media mail. So that's great. I did pick up this little Tinkerbell and you guys, that pretty much concludes this trip to the bins. I spent around $7 and I think I can turn that into around 300.